If you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you get there? And if you don't know where you're going, you'll probably end up somewhere else. It's worthwhile being effective. Effective means that we know what we want to achieve and we know how to achieve it or we make a sensible plan and we achieve it within a particular time. That way we feel that we're achieving something, we feel that we're successful, effective people and we know that we're actually accomplishing some service for our spiritual masters and for Krishna. So to do that, it means that we have to have a definite goal. We talk about the goal of life, but we need goals in life to keep us out of our comfort zone, to keep us in our challenge zone, and to keep us on track. First thing about goals, W, P, P, P. They should be written, they should be positive, they should be personal, and they should be present. Okay, written. When we write goals, it's magic, especially if we keep on writing them until they're actually achieved. Writing is a way of making a commitment, and also it's a message to the universe, it's a message to Super Soul, it's a message to the Lord, and it helps to get the resources and the decision that we need to accomplish our goals. Personal. Goals, we make, pers we make goals for ourselves, not for other people. I can say that I, my goal is that my son will be better or my daughter will be better. But really, the only person we can change is ourselves, and even that's not very easy. So goals, we make goals for our own specific achievement. Positive. It's more effective to have goals for achieving something positive rather than not having something negative. For example, it's better to say, I want to lose weight rather than I, want, I don't want to be fat. It's better to say, I want to have a connection with my Guru Maharaj and with Krishna, rather than to say, I don't want to be in Maya. When we have positive goals, we're already visualizing a positive, bright future. Present. It's very useful to write our goals in the present. Now, for example, now it's the 30th of August, 2013, and the Bhakti Samaj program is put, the videos are all taken, the translations are ready in Russian and it's all on the website and there's a disc to distribute to devotees as well. Rather than in the future I will do something. When we visualize something as actually achieved, it's far more effective. Goals can be SMART. S-M-A-R-T. S means specific. M means measurable. A means agreeable. R means realistic. And T means timed. Specific. Specific goals are more effective and more motivating than general goals. For example, I will spend more time with my team. It's more effective to say that than I will be better. I will act as a better leader with my team. Measurable. We should understand clearly whether or not we've achieved our goal. For example, I will chant 16 rounds or I will chant 32 rounds rather than I will chant more japa. Agreeable. Goals must be agreeable to those with whom we interact, to whom we're responsible. For example, our family members, other devotees in the community, people at work and so on. They must also agree with our values. It's no use making goals that contradict our values. And they must be agreeable to the different parts of ourselves. Otherwise, we're going to have conscious or unconscious sabotage. For example, if I make a goal to spend the whole of my life for the next two months only engaged in one particular activity, but there's almost certainly other parts of myself that also require satisfaction. And if I make that kind of goal, then the other parts of myself are going to sabotage that effort, either consciously or unconsciously. Realistic. Goals must be realistic. They should take us out of our drone zone and into our challenge zone. They should stretch us, but at the same time, it should be something that is realistic for us to achieve. For example, it's better to say that I will increase my number of rounds by, let's say, two every week, rather than to say, now I'm chanting eight rounds, and by the end of the week, I want to chant 64 rounds a day and keep that standard. Timed. We need to have a definite time frame within which we'll achieve the goal. Otherwise, we'll tend to procrastination. 
Otherwise, we won't have the decisiveness that will carry us through and motivate and enable us to carry out the activities to fulfill that goal. Write some personal goals that will improve the quality of your life and the quality of your devotion and service. What goals do you have in your own particular positive project? 